What's up guys, this is Kefis coming to you from World of Warcraft and today I'm going to show you how I play WoW. Again, because I've had quite a few requests on the matter and questions about my UI and how I play the game and kind of just, you know, all that kind of stuff. People want me to go over it and I've got a few videos out there. A lot of you have probably seen those videos. They're, they're pretty popular on the channel. But I just felt like, you know, I've made some updates and upgrades to my UI ever since I made those. And I get so many requests that it just seemed like a good idea to kind of go over the whole thing again. So, the reason why I'm doing this is because I am legally blind. I can only see out of my right eye. My vision is like 20 over 200, and that's on a good day, which means that I am extremely nearsighted. And I have like no peripheral vision at all. So I sit right up in front of like a 32-inch TV screen. And when I'm looking at Kephas, to give you an idea, if I'm looking at Kephas right now, this is about all I'm able able to see. And so you can imagine that in a game like World of Warcraft where you have a UI and you have all these crazy different things that you need to look at to keep yourself alive and keep yourself playing efficiently, it can get kind of difficult. So over the years I have continued to develop, it's always a work in progress, but I've continued to develop a system and a UI that works for me. And so if you're visually impaired and you're playing WoW, you might enjoy this video. And if you're just someone that likes the game and is curious about stuff like this, you might enjoy this video. And if you've seen videos that I've made before that are similar to this and this is repetitive for you, I apologize, but hopefully you'll enjoy this anyways because you're awesome. So. Let's get into it. Now let's show you what my UI looks like. There it is. Bam! Elf UI is what I'm using now. It's the key mod to this new system that I'm playing with. I've had a lot of people recommend that I give Elf UI a try. Um, to give you an idea, this is what my old UI looked like. It was pretty cluttery. Uh, and before that it was even more cluttery. But um, I've made a lot of changes and since I make YouTube videos now, I kind of wanted the UI that was prettier kind of easier to look at. I mean, I hope this is this is pretty to me, but you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, you know what I'm saying? But uh, this works for me, and I feel like it's a lot better to look at. It makes me see more of the game. I have never been able to see this much of the game at one time. I just want to take a moment. Oh, okay, moment's over. Anyways, so LVUI is the key mod, and LVUI covers you everything. I mean look at this. These are all the different modules from LVUI. It's one mod and it's allowed me to replace so many different mods. I'm able to manage my action bars, my bags, buffs and debuffs, chat, data tests, texts, I can't read for obvious reasons, which you know those are like Titan panel if you see down in my bottom left corner, that's data text. You know, my gold my durability and even my FPS which is kinda nice to know and I'm able to kinda even keep track of like things like nameplates uh, it even changes the skins kinda gives it kind of a central theme and it even manages my unit frames and I can even add some additional features that the mod can do through other supportive plugin mods that people have made it also has a lot of cool little things that it does like automatically sells my junk automatically repairs my gear even for chat it allows me to have this little feature in because I can't read chat very often I mean like I said I'm looking at Kepis I'm in the middle of combat what's what I, guess what I'm not looking at chat because if I was this is what I'd be looking at this is all I would see so as you can imagine if I actually want to play the game chat's kind of out of the question which is why oftentimes I'm in mumble or vent or whatever you know voice chat system I can use but this mod has this cool feature where if someone says my name in chat, it'll give me a sound notification. Let me know, hey, someone's trying to talk to you, so I should, you should probably take a minute to look at chat. It's a really nice feature. There are a lot of cool little features like that that the mod does. And so having a mod system like LVUI that allows me to replace so many other mods and kind of compress the amount of memory that I need to use is a great boon. It also makes the UI look really pretty. It even manages font size. Like you can tell whenever I open up like my map here, we'll go to like a quest or something. Check it out. I have a different font face. The font's obviously a little bit bigger. LVI controls that too. So I have a lot of people ask me what's a good font mod. Uh, the one that I was using was so out of date, hadn't been updated in a long time, and it's hard for people to find a good one. I recommend just using LVI. If you are visually impaired, 
or you have some sort of like just you need a special kind of UI I recommend giving LVUI a try first and seeing if that works for you I'm not going to go over configuring it in this video because there are a lot of great guides out there and it's also really easy to do I mean there's really nothing that I, I haven't done much this is kind of the basic setup. I just kind of made a few little adjustments here and there. Um, made some things a little bit bigger, some things a little bit smaller, and kind of gone from there. Now, some of the cool things that you can do with the mod, like um, one of the things is my unit frames. I've always had my unit frames in the top left corner, and I've come to realize that over the years, I've just gotten accustomed to having things a certain way even though I don't really need to have those things that way and one of those is my unit frames I have always had them in the top left corner and it's always taken up space that didn't need to be taken up and I finally joined the dark side if you will and joined most people who have put their unit frames above their action bars it makes more sense I mean you look down everything's there unit frames are all there down there with my action bars I look at the same spot everything is there makes perfect sense so that's what I'm doing now and also like keeps my top of my screen freed up so I can see what's going on in battle and in the field and all that kind of stuff. It's just so much better. I even have a little uh, mod addition, a little plugin that allows me to have the elite graphic over mobs that are elite or are rare. Basic LVUI will just put like an E or an, or an R or a plus sign or something like that next to something that's elite and that doesn't work for me because even though I'm visually impaired, I'm still a visual person. I'm artsy, I'm creative and I see things, I take visual cues and it's just kind of hard for me to see a little E or a little R next to something to let me know that it's elite. So having this in there really helps that out a lot. But I don't use my unit frames a lot. They're just kind of there for very very rare selective situations that I might need to use them and it's kind of the same for most things really I don't even look at my action bars very much it's all muscle memory at this point I mean I've been playing this game for like nine years so how often do I need to look at my action bars not very often um, so having LVUI kind of customize all that kind of make it kind of have a central theme allow me to kind of focus on everything at once through one mod one of the best decisions I have ever made is switching to LVUI and so even having a module for uh, SCADA and having a place to keep SCADA organized is really nice. So that's kind of LVUI and like I said I'm not going to go over it in detail because there are a lot of great mods out there it's really easy to set up but some of the other key mods that I want to go over besides LVUI um, are like okay for example I use a mod called Gnome Sequencer that's the other big important mod that I use and a lot of you probably are familiar with that because you've seen my rotation guides I try to make some pretty helpful basic rotation guides for new players uh, for, for different classes in the game and I also include a macro system in there I use a mod called Nob Sequencer which allows me to create very robust macros through the Lua system uh, the mod system in the game and that's really handy uh, obviously because it allows me to you know play the game my way which is allowing me to have robust macros that allow me to kind of kind of chain abilities together in one button so that way I don't have to have like 10 different buttons going on I'll show you exactly how that works I want to press one button and it's basically going to cover my entire rotation I've already used consecrate I've used uh, execution sentence I've used avenging wrath or whatever the crap I forget the name of the abilities <laughs> it's kinda of bad it's one of the bad things is I don't pay attention to the names of the abilities but as you can see I'm going through my tanking rotation I'm using sacred shield I'm even you know all that kinda of stuff is being used here and I can control that uh, through gnome sequencer allowing me to make some pretty efficient macros that way um, I'm not gonna go over it in great detail because again I have a lot of, I mean I have so much to cover in this video and I have a lot of pretty cool videos out there about gnome sequencer you can just go to my channel and look up just rotation guides for WoW 6.0 and beyond um, and there's a gnome sequencer kind of rundown kind of a basic you know explanation of what gnome sequencer is and how to use it and that kind of stuff so you can check those out but you know it allows me to kind of not have to worry about my action bars because again if I'm looking at my action bars guess what I'm not looking at the actual game and what's going on in combat so it's really hard for me to keep track of cooldowns and such so having a mod that you know that kind of helps me do that helps me consolidate abilities is a great boon and kind of essential to my playstyle. it's not like I'm doing an efficient rotation like it's not something that you know uh, elitist jerks would recommend or you know paragon uh, world first grading to top tier blah pfft, who cares uh, people would use but 
for casual players like me, works out pretty well, and it doesn't do half bad on the DPS numbers or whatever. So, that's kind of what I use for that. And I'm also, as you can see, when I'm in combat, I use a mod called Ice HUD, which pops up. It's a little HUD around my character right now. The first bar here is my health. The next bar is my target's health. And on the right side over here is my magic. And I guess this one, the end one over here, is like my sacred shield. Um, so that pops up, kind of helps me keep track of all the health info that I need to know because you know if I'm about to die I need to know but having it here means that I can look at combat and I can also keep track of my health at the same time uh, that's why I hardly ever have to worry about my unit frames so that's kind of a big one you know uh, LVI also kind of covers the nameplates up here which is nice because as you can see uh, it'll uh, uh, sometimes whenever I have put a debuff on the target it'll put that debuff above the nameplate which is really helpful for me again kind of keeping everything in the same area which is very important I know where to look on my screen I know where to find things and everything's kind of in the same area which is huge for someone like me that's kind of an important factor so that's you know the very basics of those mods another uh, key mod that I use is one called Doogie Questing Essentials or something like that let me double check that I'm gonna go to add-ons here and make sure that's what it's called yeah Doogie Questing Essential is a really cool little mod it's mostly useful for leveling but basically what it'll do is it'll automatically accept and turn in quests um, if you have an upgrade it'll let you know it's not perfect it's not something that I recommend people who are at in-game use but it's certainly useful for when you're leveling and so it'll automatically accept automatically turn in it'll even let you know like if you have multiple rewards it'll let you know if a reward is an upgrade and if it's there are no upgrades it'll let you know which reward will sell the most because if you're not looking for an upgrade the next best thing is to have a reward that sells the best and so Doogie will do that for you and so it kind of like as you can see I just picked up this quest obviously it's like the 20 black rock uh, or one so I'm just gonna click that again and there you go turns it in for me now I can open this bag up by the way I'm using arc inventory uh, LVY has a built-in bag managing mod which is very handy very nice but I like arc inventory better The reason being is because as you can see here uh, Arc Inventory sorts things really well. If you like to have a one bag system like Bagnon or other mods out there that kind of just keep everything in one bag or even if you prefer the Blizzard frame, the, the, the basic one that kind of divides the different bags up, that's all fine and well but I like to have things organized even better and this does a really good job. Blizzard has their built in one but I feel like this is even better because you know how it is in real life with me? I'm very clean, I'm very tidy, I like to keep things organized, and it's not because I'm like OCD or I'm a germaphobe, it's nothing like that. It's just because having things in their proper place makes it easier for me to find them. If my wallet and my keys are always where they're supposed to be on my desk, then I never have to worry about trying to hunt them down. Should they not be where they're supposed to be, it's chaos. I have a hard time finding them. I mean, I have a hard time finding everything. If I've ever dropped anything on the floor, it usually disappears. That's how it is when you're me. So, it's the same thing in World of Warcraft. Having things go in their spots and the bags means that I can always look in the same spot and know where to find those items. I always know where my Taladite is. I always know where, you know, all my different things, my salvage boxes. I always know where to look. I always know where my other gear items are for my different specs. And so it's very handy to have. And so having a mod like Arc Inventory cover that for me is very, very important. The other thing that LVI doesn't cover for me, even though it has a built-in one, is it has a built-in mini-map. But I prefer using um, Chinchilla. The main reason why I use Chinchilla is because it makes blips bigger, specifically for farming nodes. Like you can see, there's my mine back there on the mini-map over here. And it's a little crowded. I mean, everything's so much bigger. So it kind of makes the UI uh, on the mini-map a little cluttery. But it makes it easy for me to find nodes when I'm farming. So that way I'm not like looking all the way up in my top right corner of my screen just to do that. I can kind of look from further away and I can kind of get my nodes. So that's kind of helpful. I don't want to have to you know, get too close to do that so I can kind of pay attention to what's going on in the game while I'm flying around and I can go farm nodes. And having bigger blips makes that a lot easier. Those are the key mods that I use in my UI. So if you're wondering, I'll have links to those in the description below if you want to check those mods out for yourself. Uh, but those are what I use and those are what I recommend and that's kind of how I have my UI set up now. The other important thing that I do in my UI is I play with an Xbox 360 controller. 
Now, I know that kind of sounds crazy, and you're like, why would you do that? It just seems very limiting. Well, you know, I've been doing it since 2007, and I started playing WoW in 2006. So it's something that I discovered very early on in my WoW uh, experience. And I used to use a different program, but the program that I use now is one called Pinnacle Game Profiler. It's very good. It's pretty up-to-date, always coming out with new features, and allows me to play video games. It allows me to map out key keyboard buttons and mouse buttons to any controller that you can think of including Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, even Wii and Wii U controllers. So you can pretty much use whatever controller you want or even get the one of those Logitech ones or I think even the Steam one. Well the Steam has a built-in system but it allows you to kind of map out the buttons uh, however you want and it's really handy. It's very robust and it's very useful and I've been doing it for a very long time so I'm gonna kinda go over how that works the first thing that I'm gonna point out is I have two main action bars here the one on the bottom is controlled by the face buttons and those are A X Y and B with A doing the first button X doing the second button Y doing three and B doing four and so that covers four buttons now if I hold down left trigger and hit A it does the next button, 5, then X, then Y, and then B. So that's 5, 6, 7, and 8 with left trigger down. Right trigger, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So by combining left trigger and right trigger, I am able to have 12 buttons with just A, B, X, and Y. Now for the second action bar, as you can see, there are 12 more buttons. It's the same thing but with the D-pad. So when I hit D-pad down, in this case, I would have taunted if I had a target. D-pad left will use flash of light, which is right there. And then D-pad up would do lay on hands, and then D-pad right would do word of glory. Now when I hold down left trigger, it's the same thing. I'm gonna use my cooldowns. D-pad down, D-pad left, D-pad up, D-pad right. So there you go, and it's the same when I hold down right trigger again. D-pad down, D-pad left, D-pad up, d-pad right so combining left trigger and right trigger with those buttons allows me to have a lot more action bars it gets even crazier because I can also combine left and right trigger at the same time and that gives me four more buttons with each one of these uh, you know d-pad or the face button so when I hit left trigger and right trigger and a it allows me to summon my aqua strider because you know you never know when you're gonna have to run over water every now and then and then when I hit X with those two down it allows me to summon my uh, Grand Expedition Yak because you never know when I'm going to need to reforge or give my raid team a repair. So there you go. And so on and so forth. For the D-pad though, I have a mod called Opie, which kind of opens up a pie chart. Like in this case, when I hit D-pad right with L and R kind of held down, it allows me to open up professions. So I can open up, you know, gem cutting, jewel crafting, whatever the crap it's called. Depending on what game you play, it's sometimes gem cutting. And I even have one for like, you know, marking targets. And I even have one, one of the key ones that's really nice is one that does uh, quest items. If I had any quest items, they'd be popping up right now. But I don't have any, so you don't see them. So that's kind of how the action bars are covered. This gives me like, uh, I don't know what, uh, 20, over 30, around 30 or so different buttons that I can hit, which is more than enough, especially when I'm using, you know, gnome sequencer to consolidate things um, I don't even need all these buttons but I have plenty to use and it probably feels weird at first but when you've been using it for so long, for so long it's not so bad and then when you play Final Fantasy 14 and they have a built-in controller system it's a little bit similar to how I do it but guess what I did it first so those guys should be paying me because I came up with the system first as a matter of fact when I went and played Final Fantasy 14 I tried out their controller system wasn't bad, but I still preferred mine, so I turned theirs off and used my own system because I liked it better. Fun fact. But anyways, you know, it's not completely uh, ridiculous to think that you can play uh, MMO with a controller these days. Um, like I said, Final Fantasy XIV, Elder Scrolls Online, and I think even Terra has a built-in controller support now. So it's out there, and it's very common these days. I'd love it if Blizzard would add a built-in controller support to WoW for people just because it makes things a lot easier, but I doubt they ever will. But you never know. Um, <clears throat> other than that, I mean, you know, obviously left 
thumbstick moves my character, right thumbstick moves my mouse, uh, left bumper is left click on the mouse, right bumper is right click on the mouse, so if I hold down left and right bumper at the same time, I move forward just like it would be if I was using a mouse. Uh, sometimes I'll switch over to my mouse when I'm doing like interface things like, um, you know, auctions and that kind of stuff or managing my you know, bags, it just a lot, makes a lot more sense to switch over to the mouse real quick, you know, clicking on things, like, holy crap, I have, like, a full freaking, uh, garrison stock going on here, it's crazy, um, you know, but, you know, other than that, you know, it does work pretty good, it's really useful for moving the camera around, like I'm doing right now, it's how I move the camera around, um, and so those are, the, that's what the joysticks do, uh, that's how I control the mouse and movement, and stuff like that, um, I like to strafe, I don't like to turn my character with, uh, with a joystick, that's, no one turns their character, uh, without using the mouse, so <laughs> strafing is key. Uh, switch to strafing. Don't 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 keyboard turn. You're a noob if you keyboard turn. Just kidding. If it works for you, it works for you. Just like if this works for me, it works for me. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Don't 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 hate. Just kidding. Just a friendly little joke there. Um, but other than that, the rest of the buttons are basically about interface things. I can open up my character panel by hitting a button. I can open up my map. I can hope open up my uh, game menu. I can uh, open up a uh, spell book, I can open up social panel, I can open up my talents, you know, those kind of things that you would need, you know, just to be able to click a button real quick and open up, just the, the main ones. Bags, obviously, is another one, and I even have a button to mount up with, you know, those are just the remaining buttons that I have. Um, hitting the left thumbstick button without pressing L and R will uh, tab target, which is very handy in combat, so as you can see here. I'm um, hitting that and switching between the three um, and then obviously right thumbstick uh, press down will make me jump It'll also let me fly up whenever I have a flying mount down. So there you go. See I'm flying up now um, For flying mounts by the way, I use a mod called light mount it allows me to have random mounts selected or I can pick which mounts are selected I also use smart mounting so if I can summon a flying mount in the area It'll summon a flying mount if I can't it'll summon a ground mount um, you can pick which mounts you want it to do, or you can let it do every mount that you have. It's completely up to you, and it's uh, different for each alt, so you can kind of set it up for each alt individually. With the press of one button, it manages all your mounts, including things like Ghost Wolf, um, your Druid mounts, and such. So it's a great mod. I love it, and that's kind of how I manage that, and it makes it easy for me to button map it to my controller as a result. So, you know, just a combination of various mods are how I play with the Xbox 360 controller, and that is basically how I play the game. So for those of you who have been curious, like I said, I know I've made videos like this before, so for some of you this isn't anything new, but it kind of gives you an updated, uh, you know, video guide and what my UI is now. For those that might be curious, because you're going to see videos, you're going to be like, whoa, you changed your UI, dude, you didn't even tell us. Well, now you know. So LVUI is my new big thing. I think I'm going to stick with it. I've been using it for a little while, and man, I got to tell you, it, thanks for people that suggested it in the comments, because of you guys that I chose it, and that's what I'm doing now, and it's one of the best decisions I've made for since I've been playing Warlords of Draenor. So hopefully all these mods will continue to be supported, and uh, Blizzard will allow them to continue to be uh, you know, made. Like Hopefully they won't break Gnome Sequencer. If they do, then we'll find new mods, because there are always new mods that can be used. So having said that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And hopefully, uh, you know, if you're out there and you're visually impaired or you have some type of disability, uh, don't let it hinder you from playing the game because where there's a will, there's a way. I know that sounds cheesy and overused, but it's just so the truth. Because when I first played this game, man, I remember it was 2006. I was in Elwyn Forest, and I was like, I don't think I can play this game. The font's way too small. And that's how I got started. I found the font mod on Curse. And that's kind of, the, you know, that's all she wrote. After that, it was just one mod after another and continuing to upgrade. And I'll tell you what, I've uh, I've really had a good time with this game. And, you know, I, by all rights, I shouldn't even be able to play with, with how my vision is. But yet, I do. And I have a pretty good time doing it. So, you know, having said that, it, you know, and to be able to make videos uh, beyond that is even, even really even more awesome. And it all started with videos about how I play WoW uh, as a visually impaired person. So, man, I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you, uh, you know, I hope it was helpful. I hope that, you know, like I said, I know for some people it might be a, uh, you know, a rehash of things that I've said a thousand times before. 
Uh, but it's always nice to kind of go over again because I want to have as much support out there for people that I can and people that, like I said, might be like me or might have other conditions where something like this would be uh, extremely useful. So, you know, I'll have links to all these different things I've talked about. I'll have a link to Pinnacle Game Profiler. I'll have a link to the various mods that I've mentioned in the description below so you can check those out. And, of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comments and I will try to get back to you as quickly as possible. You guys rock. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that like button. And if you found it informative, perhaps you'd like to inform your friends by sharing it with them. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see future videos on this channel. Thanks for watching, have a wonderful day, this is Kefis, until next time.